Thanks again for joining me for another quick devotional here in 1 Peter chapter 5. We're going to finish up chapter 5 today with verses 12 through 14. Through Salvanius, whom I regard as a faithful brother, I have written to you briefly, encouraging you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Stand firm in it. The church in Babylon, chosen together with you, sends you greetings, as does my son Mark. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. Take a look at verse 12 real quick. I have written you briefly to encourage you and testify that this is the true grace of God. Stand firm in it. How many of you guys have played sports in some way? Or been involved in martial arts or something that's contact sport related? There's a specific stance they normally want you to stand in. It's this wide stance, one foot in front of the other. Your center of gravity is lowered. You're standing firm so that when somebody does come to push you, to hit you, to approach you, you cannot be easily toppled over, but you stand firm in it. It requires a positional adjustment for us to do that. And it's the same thing in our faith. To stand in this true grace of God, we have got to root ourselves in it, so lower our center of gravity onto the Word of God. We have to take hold of it and be ready for an adversarial pushback. It is inevitable. It's going to happen in your life. Jesus pretty much said that trials and struggles and strife and persecution are guaranteed in your life. So stand firm in it. Grab those brothers and sisters around you, link arms, lower that center of gravity, and stand firm and be ready for the assaults of the devil. Be ready for the attacks and the arrows that he will be flinging. 